Oh, it's so good. Jesus, it's really unique as well, which I appreciate. What's up, guys? Today is a really good day because I'm finally getting to listen to all the remixes of my song My Love Is Gone, which sounds like this. There were more than a thousand remixes submitted and I'm gonna listen to all of them now on camera and give feedback to the best ones and probably keep around 30-ish of the most interesting or best ones remixes or else the video is gonna be way too long. And I'm gonna choose the winner, of course. As always, one of the first five in the comments will win a free message by me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you like to drink water, but I'll shut up now and let's dive into it. Oh, and by the way, that winner remix is actually released today. I haven't heard it yet because I'm filming this the day after the submissions were closed, but check that out in the description after you're, you've watched the video and I'll shut up now again. So this next one is from Q Symbol and this is how that sounds. It's a bit uninteresting build up, I think. It could have happened a bit more. That's pretty sick. Ooh, that that I love that. I'm so weak for that synth fill based. The, the idea is really really good. Personally, I think the vocal chops were a bit too boring and un uninteresting. Maybe do a bit more affected on those. And the bass synth itself is pretty cool, but I would like it to punch a bit more. Maybe add a bit crusher, I think would be really cool. <laughs> And maybe drop, like cut off a bit more of the vocal so that it's really dry when it hits with the bass sounds. But the idea is really cool. So shout out to Q Symbol. Let's go on to the next one. So this next one is from Robbie Mendez, who has releases on Spinner Records from before. It was an amazing artwork and the caption was, oh, the description was really cute as well. Thanks. I really like that new twist with the chords, how he switched that up, that was sick. It might sound stupid of me, but I, I feel like I can't pick this as a winner because he's already getting a lot of recognition in the scene and is doing really well. Because I really want to give that platform to someone up and coming. Uh, who's more up and coming than Robbie, but I, I have a feeling this is gonna sound really good. Yeah, I mean, that's just insane. That's so well produced. It merges the tech house and future house vibe together perfectly and it's it's like a big room tech house song. Which is really popular right now and it's a really well produced track, unique and solid. I really like this one. So, great job Robbie. This one's from Bluk. Interesting chord. I'm not sure if I like it, but it was cool. Holy... My ears are like... This? Oh! That was so dope! It reminds me a lot of Drezzo. 
his earlier stuff. Damn, that B part, that second part is insane. I'm not crazy about the first part, but... So chaotic, but in a really cool way. It was really fresh. Just feel like the first beginning should have been a bit more controlled, but that was some really cool synth design. Really good job. The next one's from H to H B. Now my love is go running thinking about you day and night. Really cool with all the stuff that's going on. It's controlled with automation and stuff. It's a cool synth as well. The only problem is I can't remember the melody right away. It has so much energy though with the bass stabs going correlating with the melody. I think that's dope. Really cool job, but a bit too chaotic for my liking. And then we go into Le Adam. Now my love is gone, running out. I'm liking that. I, I was waiting for one of those remixes in that sort of style, just flipping the vocal in that style. It's sounding pretty good. I like it a lot. It feels a bit too heavy. I think it could be produced a bit more cleanly and have the elements take up a bit less space and still have the same power. It sounds a bit too club for me right now, which is... I never thought I would say that. I think it would benefit from having a bit more of a pop production, such as the Dinoro, for instance, the one with Ina Rolson, uh, who's Norwegian, by the way. Big shout out. I'm Norwegian as well, for those who didn't know. Let's continue to the next remix, but that was a really good job, Lou Adam. I've had too much coffee. This next one is from a nut. It's called Cashew. I just skipped the part, didn't I? Sorry. Ooh. This is gonna be good. I like that. I love it when that just a techie drive. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> That's fat. Oh, I love that. Really, those Deceiver Green Velvet vibes. The mix is really clean as well. It's up there in your face and it bangs. Really creative with the reverb use, like this short room reverb on the synths in the second part here. I'm not sure on the melody, but I think overall it was really cool. I'm gonna save that one. Next one's a sorrow. Now my love is I really like it when remixes try something different with the chords. It just gives it a fresh vibe instantly, which is something I try to do when remixing songs myself. I really like that. But if I'm starting to sweat, it's, it's like 30 degrees in Norway right now and I'm so warm. <laughs> Says the one who has candles on the desk. I'm gonna shut up now, sorry. Let's listen to the remix. Sorry, Asara.
I think this is pretty interesting. I think it has a lot of good melodies and the chords work well together overall. The production is a bit messy and the mix could be a bit more controlled. <laughs> The synth sounds a bit too weak, I think. It could easily be layered and a bit bigger. I feel a bit... I have to open the door soon. This is... So warm! But I like it a lot. It's... it's. I think it could be more unique as well, but it's overall a really well done track, and I think you have a lot of good stuff in you, Asaro. So keep producing. This is K.A.M. That's a different key. It's not in the right key, I think, and there's a lot of clashing going on with the melody and the chords, but I think it has something fresh to it. It's a fresh approach to melodies with the the, the pitch glides are a bit unique. I think the melody could be better as well, but overall I think it has some unique flavor. I, I think I think this is has got some potential. Really good job. This next one's from Toast to Ost. That just made me smile instantly. That was really cool. Oh, really satisfying. I love that. I look crazy. And that, oh. The vocoder, I'm weak. I'm weak for vocoder. So, so perfect. I'm always saying this, I feel, but I feel I'm missing a melody that's a bit stronger and a bit more catchy because now I, I can follow the first half. That's really good. There it's just like... It's a bit weird. Something like that, just a bit more... I don't want to say the word catchy, but it's a bit more memorable, I think. Because now it's a bit all over the place. But the first half is really good, and I think the overall the sounds are really... It's it's there. This is definitely a contender. I'm going to save this one. It's really good. This next one's from RCTO, and it's the backcountry version. Hey, should we do something different? Okay, that's that's the best intro so far. <laughs> that country O as well. That actually low key sounds like a country hit. I like just imagine Florida Georgia Line singing that. I love this. <laughs> this is so creative and cool. Not too into that part. I love that hey, that Lumineers hey. I 
That's so funny. Oh. I love how he's rearranged the vocal, tuned it. That's really, really funny. Like I, I want to listen to this uh, in my country playlist. This is really, really funny. I don't, I don't know what to say honestly, because I think it's, it's almost perfect as it is. Big shout out to RCTO. That was really funny. This next remix is from Trave. See the vibe is there and the idea is there. But I overall feel like it's too chaotic, too cluttered. There's a bit too much going on and I would definitely strip it down a bit more. Maybe do something else with the vocal as well. Maybe just do a synth line of that same melody instead. Could have fit more because now it's really chaotic. But really, it's a cool job. It's a cool take on the song. This next one's from Roro Maestro. And this is my remix for this contest. That's pretty sick. Sounds like the Ibiza version, tech house, chill out, lounge thing. It's well produced as well. Just a bit too arrangement wise, not interesting enough, I think. But overall, a really cool idea. Good job. This next one comes from Jules. Now my love is gone, out of yeah. And I love the description. It sounds like that uh, going deeper song with Drop Gun, I think. I really like that synth. I think it's from that sample pack or something. I'm not sure. But I think it fit quite nicely. And I like the chorus as well. It's, it's good. I think overall the mix could be better produced and I would check out that Going Deeper and Drop Gun collab. It's called Time Machine or something? No, I can't remember. But it's really sick and it's mixed a bit more controlled than this, which I think this would benefit from. But it was a really cool idea. Good job. Because this next one has the best artwork thus far. Now my love is gone. Yes, I used to have long hair. <laughs> out of sight. Yeah, I it's a very bad decision. I like the idea with the vocoder, but it sounds a bit too much like a monster to me right now. It's a bit creepy. I've been waiting for this one. Sick. I was really waiting for someone to just take the original and just boost it in energy like that. It was really cool. It sort of sounds like the club edit of the song, which is really cool. Overall, well produced as well. The lead was a bit annoying. I think you could soothe it out a bit with resonance frequencies and maybe beef it up a bit as well because it was a bit thin. But overall, really cool, really cool job. The 
the chords are perfect. Okay, let's continue. Good job, Mia, Mia, Maya Hester. This next one's from Laiko. Now my love is gone, Not sure about the course, but it, it was something new. was really dope. I really like that idea. Just wish it ended a bit earlier because it felt like the melody dragged on a bit too long. I think that would be maybe a bit cooler. That's just personal preference, but maybe if it went... Also, and then something, some synthy stuff in between, and then. And then it started like over again because it got a bit too repetitive. Never mind, now there was a new part which made it not that annoying. That's funky, I like it. That melody I really like. And then the ending. That was good, really good job Leiko, it was creative and... Nice. Okay, so Felix S is the next remixer. Now my love is gone, oh, I'm so weak for those rolling pitch bend bass pad stuff. Very good. Okay, maybe it was a bit too much, but at the start it was really cool. It's a sick vibe. I'll shut up now. Woo. This is one of the coolest ones so far. It's such on point vibe. I don't know what to say. Just how it, ah, oh, it's such a cool arrangement as well. It's how it drops into that chill and then brings back in everything with the hi-hats and claps and that's dope. And then the bird sounds, is a really fun twist. Really cool with the pitch bends as well in the start. So well done, but I only think that it's a bit too much going on in the middle. Maybe you could pan it out a bit more, but overall, amazing job. Somehow I've started doing this now. It's not going to be a thing. I'm going to stop that. <laughs> That was insane. I'm gonna say this one crazy. Okay, so this next one is from Magnus. Now my love is gone, running out of sight. Yeah, I keep thinking about you day and night. Cause I think that's one of the first remixes who have held it on one note in the intro. That's interesting. You broke my heart when you say goodbye. Yeah, I keep thinking about you day and night. A 
bit too sharp here, but what I was gonna say was that he did a great remix for Tell Me A Lie in my previous remix contest, so I'm re which almost won. So I'm really curious about this one. I didn't even want to interrupt it to talk. How the... I just imagine Swedish House Mafia opening up their set with this this drop. It's... Oh, that's so good. Jesus, it's really unique as well, which I appreciate. Damn. And it's controlled, it's well arranged, it has so much power, it's super super aggressive, but I love this. This is insane. Damn. A bit too chaotic here. He says he had made this in six hours. <laughs> How? Oh. What you feel? Sick. What do you feel? You feel like doing it one more time. It's a bit cringy, but I love it at the same time. Now my love is gone, running out of sight. My love is gone, my love is gone. That's such. The, the progressiveness of like Axel and Grosso, Swedish House Mafia sort of builds as well. It just keeps the energy going so well. I want to play this at a festival now. Yeah. I, I'm definitely saving this one for the final picking. This is insane. So good. I'm gonna continue, sorry, but damn, Magnus. <laughs> Next one is from Gravagers. It reminds me of that other one that I felt had that same style, but this I feel is a bit more clean, a bit better produced and mixed. I like this a lot. I think the only thing that's missing for me personally is a bit more of those longer bass notes that can go in between and sort of just a bit more of those reverses and the boom, cut off filters and I look crazy again. But great job, I think it has great potential. Good job. Okay, so this next one's from Jason Spark. I like this. Why? But I'll shut up now, let's dive into it. I want more of that synth. That's pretty sweet. I like that. And I like the bass. Boom, 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 boom. It's cool. I like this. This remix has a good vibe and it's well produced. It just sounds good. 
I like it. Good job. This next one's from Fabia, Fabian Fabian Foren. It's from Sweden. It is 16. That's when I started music, or a bit earlier. I'm 23 now. How do you make this at, when you're 16? I could I didn't even know what a kick was when I was 16. I need to work harder, but this was insane. The white noise layering was on point, the bass line and stuff. Overall, really good. I think you could play a bit more with reverse reverbs as well as just automating with the reverbs of the lead a bit more. I think the lead synth sound is cool. Maybe do some pitch glides with it, <laughs> some pitch glides with it. But I think overall it's a creative idea. It's good, it just sounds a bit unfinished. So I, I would try to reference it with other tracks that you like that are in the similar genre and add some pitch glides, some automations and you'll be good. That's not gonna be a thing either. Next one, this next one's from MRGN. Now my love is Ooh, I, I love now this. I love these chords. Dreamy vibe, I'm gonna shut up now. Sounds like the remixer MRGN did this with his own voice. That's what I want to think at least. And it sounds really nice. I like this a lot. It's a really cool vibe and just overall really nice to listen to. Maybe the second time around the melody comes in, you could have a wider doubler layer to each side just to give it a bit of a different feel, maybe an octave up, so, so, sopran, tenor, I don't know. Uh, alter? Help me someone. But I think this is really cool. Definitely a contender I want to keep. It's really cool. Good job. So, after listening to over a thousand remixes, so difficult to choose a winner. There's been so many good ones. For instance, these are some of my favorites. There's just so many to not to mention everyone, but so good. And this one as well. I love this so much. There's something about it. The Robbie Mendez one. So good, MRGN one. But there's one that I kept coming back to when I was trying to figure out, and that's the Magnus remix. It's just I can see this on every main stage, and it's so well produced, unique, and I think he really deserves the attention. I always get the bass face when I listen to it. And it's probably one of the hardest remixes that I went through. But I honestly think overall it's the one that I think should be the winner. And there have could have been so many winners. There have been so many amazing remixes. And I'm just eternally grateful for everyone who joined. And so is Linus. Very, very grateful. But it was so much fun listening to everyone. And I'm going to do a new remix contest very soon. So anyways, I hope you guys don't get bummed if you didn't win this one. Because there are going to be a lot more. And I just hope you show a lot of love to the ones I've selected. And all everyone else. And these guys are so talented. And I just thank you 
I'm very thankful. And actually this remix, the Magnus remix is gonna be out the day this video goes live because I filmed it the day after the submissions were closed and hopefully if everything went well with spinning, it's gonna be out on all portals. You can check it out in the description below. Please show him some love and all, everyone else. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Please like the video if you liked the video. Comment if you commented the video. Subscribe if you subscribed the video. Have a nice week and weekend and life. That's important. Have a good life. I hope you do. Bye.